Hey guys, welcome back, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about a common problem that I'm always seeing people talk about with their resin 3D printers. That problem is their part will not stick to the build plate on the machine. This is the build plate, and you want your print to stick to this so it can print out, considering that it comes out upside down like this. A lot of people say to level this and make sure it's properly leveled and sometimes that just isn't enough and I understand I have been there. A lot of people will also tell you to add stuff onto your FEP such as like a PTFE lubricant or silicone lubricant, something on it to get the parts to where they won't stick to it. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't and for me that did not work and I was getting kind of mad until I came up with a solution to a problem that I just kind of didn't realize I had until I went through every inch of the printer to see what was going on. We're going to fix that in this episode because maybe you're dealing with the same issue that I had and we'll go through it, we'll figure it out, and hopefully you can get to printing on your resin 3D printer with no issues. And the best part is we're going to use total just household items that I have here in the house and we're going to get it done super cheap, super effective, and it's personally helped me a whole bunch and I've not had many issues with the issue since. So let's get to the printer and let's get this going. So first thing we need to do, of course, is check out what is going on. As you see, the FEP is clearly sticking to the LCD. I don't know why this happens. I'm guessing moisture of some sort from humidity possibly, but as soon as I put the vat on, you see it causing that weird suction vacuum thing to just spread across. That keeps the FEP from like being able to pop. So what we need to do is we first need to clean this whole FEP and the LCD screen with alcohol. I'm using these alcohol wipes. I bought them at HEB. They work great. And we're just going to wipe down the LCD as well as we can as well as the VAT. These two things are necessary for us to do what we want to do. You'll see my VAT's kind of dirty looking. I'm just experimenting to see how long I can go before I need to change it. So don't comment about that. Well, that has nothing to do with it. It's just I'm trying to test the longevity and how far I can take a piece of FEP. But we have it cleaned off, you see. Now we need to go to the cabinet and we need to find some sort of substrate. And for this purpose, I chose baking powder. I was going to go with the baking soda, but it's a little bit more granular. So baking powder should work here great. Same with like talcum powder or something, it should also work. I'm using this detailing brush I have from an uh, old job. I'm just going to put a little bit on, knock a little bit off if it's too much. Simply just apply it to the screen and I'm going to brush it back and forth, make sure it makes contact with the entire LCD panel. That's important and we're just going to keep going and it will pull it off the printer. Like I'm wiping it so it falls off the printer so we don't have any loose stuff anywhere. And we're just going to keep doing that until it's totally covered and you can't see any more of the powder. And this really helps for, I'm guessing it absorbs it. But we are going to get a closer up, I guess. And you'll see that as I keep going, you don't see any powder on the LCD at all. That's what we want. We need to put the vat back in. And as you see, as soon as I put it in, no more suction. And that's fantastic. That's what we were looking for. So now we can do a test print and we'll see how it comes out and it should not fail if this is done correctly and if this is your issue. Put the build plate back and let's try a test. So you, see the pro so you see the process and that fixes my issue with having the build plate not stick to the prints. Now since the FEP can actually release and pop them off. That time lapse, you see it's already up the printer. That was for these glasses right here. These are Peggy Hill's glasses. I made these for a TikTok and I finished them on there. So if you want to see that, link will be in the description. The Hank Hill glasses I did, they did really well. Peggy, nobody seems to like Peggy. But that's what the time lapse was of, and it totally 
succeeded and I, it was fantastic and I love it. I hope that this process will help you guys if you're having the same issue or you just have no other options, check it out. Maybe this is it and it'll help you. If it does, I'm happy for you and heck dang yes. <laughs> Anyways, so that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As we can say since we finished this, heck dang yes, your printer should now be working good. And if it is, fantastic. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if this helped you, if you have any other tips and tricks or suggestions. Anything helps. But until next time, see you later.